Hello everyone, today I'm back in World of Guns Gun Disassembly and today we have a very interesting and a very very crude and simple pistol as well. Uh, this is the Liberator pistol, uh, also called the FP45 um, and uh, it was a, a sort of a project of the Americans during World War II. So basically um, they wanted to give the oppressed people of Europe some kind of weapon uh, to be able to um, apprehend their oppressors uh, and uh, take their weapons and uh, basically resist. So what they came up with uh, was basically this pistol. Uh, so the way it worked was they, um, they wanted to make uh, a pistol as cheap as possible uh, they made it single shot uh, and they, they issued everything in a box um, with some ammo to be airdropped into occupied Europe um, so that, that uh, the people uh, would be able to uh, get some guns off of the uh, off of the like Germans and Italians who were occupying their territory and be able to um, resist uh, the rest of them so they uh, they wanted to, as I said, build as many of these pistols and airdrop them, um, but it didn't work out. Uh, they did build, uh, I think, a million of these pistols, um, which is quite a lot, uh, but these are quite crude, uh, not much to them. Uh, so they are in caliber 45 ACP, uh, and uh, they are single shot. You have to manually cock them and manually eject as well. Uh, the empty the, the empty case but they are only meant to be shot a couple of times uh, at most uh, so basically just uh, so you can get another uh, firearm from uh, a, uh, a, um, a soldier um, like uh, an Italian or German soldier I guess um, or or a Soviet soldier I guess uh, as well uh, if you were in Poland or um, I don't know in Finland uh, they wouldn't drop them in Finland or in Poland though because um, the Soviets were somewhat part of the Allies obviously uh, but anyway um, so this is a very uh, so yeah I was talking about the plan it didn't work out uh, they didn't airdrop these pistols uh, at the end because they figured uh, it wasn't the best idea uh, so uh, but it's still a cool a little little sort of reminder of World War II I guess uh, and the desperate times um, so let's take this thing apart first of all and uh, see uh, what it consists of uh, as you can see it is just uh, sham uh, stamped sheet metal and some cast parts and uh, uh, like a barrel and there's room for ammo in the in the grip so basically open the grip and uh, and get the, the ammo out and put it in the chamber and shoot. Um, as you can see it has just like two springs, one for the uh, cocking piece which is also uh, like the uh, the striker and another one for um, whatever that is on the bottom. I'm not sure what that was, what that was for. I um, guess we're gonna see in the operation. The side plates are just made out of metal uh, just to be as efficient and as cheap as possible so they could make as many as possible let's uh, check out the operation so you cock this piece and uh, sort of open it like like this uh, so tilt it to the side uh, you can see it's got some sort of wings there to hold it uh, and this is under spring, spring pressure uh, there's the barrel so you put in a, a round there we go, 45 ACP. Close it up with this uh, sort of breech block, I guess, if you want to call it. And uh, that's pretty much it. Um, when you press this trigger, the the whole sort of cocking piece drops and uh, fires the round. There's not much in the way of sights. There's this rear, really wide notch and the front post, which is also at the top of the trigger guard. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, let's reload this again. You have to eject the cartridge manually, as you can see. And uh, fire. Nice. Okay. 
Um, apparently there's another barrel as well. Oh, there's an extended barrel. Would you look at that? Okay, you would need an even longer cleaning rod to push out an empty cartridge case. Nice. Okay, x-ray. So, as you can see, the rounds in the bottom are just there, dumped loosely. And um, there's really not much to this thing. There's actually three springs, but that's about it. That's just the, the trigger there. Um, and that's it. Here you can see basically like the sear. Uh, can we... Let's reload it. So that, that part he, that's connected to the trigger is basically the sear. Um, you can see how it holds that, that round thing. Uh, and if we press it, it drops and uh, that's how it fires. And that's the, the breech like plate I guess. Um, this was one of the reasons that this would be uh, a bad idea to shoot this, this gun. Uh, multiple times uh, that bridge bridge uh, sort of plate would get deformed over time um, I'm, I'm fairly certain and there's your bar barrel and um, that's pretty much it okay let's do a cutaway as well cutaway nice okay so you can see the empty cartridge there um, unrifled barrel obviously and that's it Slow mo fire, sure. Let's reload it and do a slow mo fire. Okay, as you can see, this thing is quite, um, quite slow to reload as well. Cut away and fire. So here you can see the the sear dropping basically. And then it fires the round, and that's pretty much uh, everything. All right. And the trigger resets. All right. And that's uh, it for the operation. Let's just take this thing fully apart uh, and see what it looks like on the inside completely. And uh, that should probably be enough. Okay, so first of all, we take off this bottom plate, which uh, retains the rounds in the bottom. And then we can take off the side plate, we can take off the caulking piece. Uh, this is all just cast, pretty much, uh, with some, some rods there. We've got some springs, one spring here, that's pretty much the, like the, um, the hammer spring or the striker spring. And then we've got the trigger. Or yoke, I guess. Alright, and then uh, that's the rivet for it. We have the breech plate. That's just one piece as well. Uh, we have the trigger guard, which is called the spanner, obviously, for whatever reason. Got the barrel. Um, that's it. We have another part of the rivet spacer, and that's it for the the liberator. Um, so let's put it back together. And that shouldn't take a whole bunch of time, I guess. Um, okay. So let's do. Barrel first. And then we've got the trigger guard, right? And then we've got the, the the cover slide, as it's called. There's the spring, and the other spring with the a pin. Okay. Then there's the the trigger. It's got a rivet and some spacers on the side. There's also the yoke lever assembly. That goes into the gun. Then there's the striker and the side plate and the snap cover. There it is. That is one reassembled liberator. 
and I think this is pretty much all that I can show you uh, in this video. Now, uh, as I said, a very very simple pistol, and for a good reason as well. Uh, but also uh, some very cool history behind it, and um, that's pretty cool. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. If you liked it, you can press the like button and subscribe to my channel. You can also check out my other videos, and uh, I will see you next time.